help people, you know. God, God is a helper. And so Jeremiah 1.5, we see this young man called Jeremiah. And we call him a prophet, but he's a messenger. And Jeremiah is having this connection and interaction with God. And God is talking to Jeremiah. And God is giving him a commission. A commission to relay the message of reconciliation to an apostate generation. And look at Jeremiah 1.5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto nations. Jeremiah, I have ordained you with a message for nations. You can't run away from it. You can't avoid it. As much as you say you're a stammerer, you can't talk. You don't have the nitty gritties, the know-how. You don't know how to talk. Jeremiah is not an excuse. Some of you are staying down here. You say, I'm not like that. I, I don't feel I'm that way. Listen to this. It is not an excuse. Did you create yourself? The creator of the universe is saying, before you were blood in your mother's womb, I set you aside. You are saying, oh Lord, you know I have all these problems. I have done this. I have this. I don't have that. God doesn't see what you don't have. He doesn't see what you have done. He would have said, no, I said drunkard. I won't use him. And God is talking to Jeremiah. He said, I'm not married. I'm single. Uh, Jeremiah, so I don't, I don't have a wife. I, I have divorce. I am this. I am that. I'm in this predicament. I'm in that. Don't, God doesn't see what men see. No. He finishes you as an end product before you start going through your storms. So when God is talking to you, don't talk to him about your problems. Don't talk to him about your battles because you are talking to the almighty Elohim. He has seen the end. And then God is talking to Jeremiah. And this man is a missionary prophet. Jeremiah will rise up as a towering prophetic figure throughout history. And begin to speak the mind of God to a civilization. He will educate a civilization and speak into the future. And even become the future teacher of the prophet Daniel. Whereas Daniel hadn't seen him. He was an old man. He had passed in 70 years. After Jeremiah has gone to be with the Lord, he is still educating Daniel. And the young man Daniel in Babylon will still make reference to the prophetic messages of Jeremiah for the rescue mission of God in Daniel's own generation as a missionary prophet in Babylon. UK has not seen anything yet. This territory has not seen anything. Your life, you've not seen anything yet. Some of you here, I hear wake up call in the realm of the spirit. You don't pray, you are weak, you are, you are lukewarm, you are down. You serve God like the way you go to the pub. You serve God. Some of you are serving God, you are always having sex, sex, sex like an animal. You are not married, you are sleeping around. You catch gonorrhea. You didn't say amen. Yeah. 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 I mean, listen to me. Don't take offense. If you get offended by the word of God, he will send his angel to come to you in your bedroom. Ah. Gosh, totally. ah. Can I preach? Can I teach? You are married. You have chosen to leave your beautiful wife and you have been jumping on caricature women. Any woman going after somebody's wife is ugly. Somebody's husband is ugly. That way doesn't exist in God's program for any human being. That the moment you cross the line for somebody's husband, you become ugly. Yeah. Oh, the man becomes a beast. It takes the missionary prophets. A missionary prophetic young lady. So nobody will touch my breast. He's holy. He's pure. Is sanctified, is pure for the master's use. For the what? Master's use. Until you can say here at the altar with my husband, I decree by the spirit of God. Yeah. If it's not at the altar with your husband, golden things are not for uncivilized people. Can I talk to you? When uncivilized hands touch what is golden, your breast eh, is gone. 
Anytime you marry a man, don't see breast again. Men like breast. From the time we are babies to the time we grow. So when you let the wrong man touch it, when you marry, he doesn't see it. When the man don't see breast, man, no day. Some of your mother didn't teach, your father didn't talk to you. I have sons. I tell them serious things. Don't play games. Keep it. Keep it tight. Bundle it tight. Cover it tight. Shield it tight. If you are not sure, go the Roman era time. Go and find, how do you call silver? Huh? Let them build a silver throne. Put it there and put chain. Tie it with padlock. Any man that see by the time he will touch that place, bad luck. Walking around, walking around, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> see, man of God, preach to stop what you are doing. I should stop what I'm doing. Why did God close the antediluvian era? It was mostly fornication, adultery. That's why he closed that era. I am here on an assignment. We're going to build a church like no, no other. We are here to raise a generation no one can reject. Hear this. Thousands of people will come to this church. They will come like rice. You, I cannot hear your amen. Your husband will be glad he came here. Your wife will be glad she came here. You will not just be a church member. An anointing will storm your life. Those that have laughed at you, mocked at you, call you names. I feel for them. You've come to a citadel of hope. An arena of power. A season of grace. Your destiny cannot be molested. Listen, your intelligence cannot be insulted. We are dealing with the Holy Ghost. Missionaries. Look at someone there. I tell him, I'm so glad I'm here. Huh. Is somebody here? The word of God can upset you, but don't get upset. I'm setting you free. I am I'm waging war. I am a missionary prophet myself. Jeremiah said, no, no, I can't. God said, don't worry, right where you are is because of battles here and there, but don't worry, Jeremiah. I'm going to send you. Jeremiah, I will use you. Jeremiah, I'll do mighty things. Who is ready for God to do mighty things with your life? Come on, come on. Never say where you are sitting is making it impossible. I say, who is ready for God to do mighty things with your life? I decree over your life, you shall be used mightily of God. I say, you shall be used mightily of God. So we see the missionary prophet Jeremiah, God talking to him, God called him and God saying, Jeremiah, I will send you. Look at someone, tell them, God is going to send you. You can tell them, God has sent you. You can tell them, God has sent you. I can tell them God is going to use you mightily. Then come another missionary prophet, Ezekiel. Ezekiel is a leading prophetic voice in exile in Babylon. And Ezekiel is part of these people. Time won't permit me. But when you look at Ezekiel chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, you will see Ezekiel lying by the river of Chiba. And Ezekiel is very weak and drowsy and tormented and down. Then the Bible said the spirit of God, I think Ezekiel chapter 2, the spirit of God came upon him and raised him up. So no matter how weak and how down you are, don't allow those who are down continue to keep you down. Listen to this. You may have done the wrong thing all your life. It just takes one day to do the right thing. So sometimes what happens is this. People say, I'm stuck in it. You can't be stuck. Because human beings are agents of motion. I may be standing in the pit now, in the mud now. All I need is to take one step and I leave that place. All I need is to shift my mindset and something changes. And Ezekiel is in Babylon, a weak and a broken man, tormented. Then the Spirit of God comes upon him. The Spirit of God comes upon Ezekiel. And he said, the hand that touched him lifted him up, though he was weak. But that hand lifted him up and he stood on his feet. The power of God is lifting you up. Amen. I cannot hear you, amen. I said, the power of God is lifting you up. Look at you. 
at someone in the eyes, I don't tell them I don't care where you are at. Tell them I don't care what you are doing. The power of God is lifting you up. Look at them again. Tell them you are not condemned. Tell them there is power from Jesus Christ to lift you up. To lift up your family. To lift up your friends. To lift up your children. Tell them the power of God is lifting you up. Ezekiel was lifted up. Do you know why they went into Ezra? Sins. They rebelled against God. They rejected God. They turned their back at God. And they, they, they went into idolatry. They went into all kinds of pagan worship. And they rejected the God of Israel. And so, the enemies came and toppled them, fought and took over their territory and then took them into slavery. And Ezekiel was part of them in the midst of the sins, in the midst of all the battles. Ezekiel 3, the verse number 17 to 18. You begin to see the prophet Ezekiel, the missionary prophet, a powerful one of its kind. And God began to talk to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3, the verse number 17 to 19. God began to speak to Ezekiel. And see the word the Lord says, son of man, son of man. The, by the beginning of the verse number 2, he said, weak man. By the power of God come upon him. He's beginning to regain some capacity and he begins to hear God's voice. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Wow. Somebody's here. God has made you a watchman, a watchman to your father's family. Amen. I want you to say a good amen. amen. I'm telling you, God has made you a watchman to your network of friends. A watchman to your network of friends. You were a watchman to some single mother, single father. You were a watchwoman. You were a watchman to somebody's daughter. And do you know what that, that means? When they are sleeping, you don't sleep. When they are discouraged, you can't be discouraged. That's why sometimes people are shocked when they come to people like you. And they are asking questions. Are you ever down? Are you ever discouraged? Why can you be discouraged if you have destinies hanging on your neck? Some of you here, you can't be discouraged. Amen. If you get discouraged, people will die. So never become an emotional being and allow them to sweep you away and be like everybody because our stand is different. Some people are called to carry people. Some people, their job is to be carried. And they love being carried forever. But you know who God blesses? He blesses those who carry people. Amen. I didn't hear your amen. amen. I say God blesses those who carry people. Amen. And so you can't walk around and say, ah, uh, me too, I'm tired. No, you can't. You can't. I'm down. You can't. That you, you are staying down there encouraging you because you are down. Wake up, wake up, you are down. You know, if, if, that, if, you, know, if you are in that situation, you need it. But some people cannot go that line because many destinies will crash. And when a depressed person is encouraging you, you are double depressed. It's only in the city of foolish men the blind will lead the, the, the blind. When blind people are leading, you are in trouble. Look at someone in their eyes and tell them you are blessed. Is it hard to bless somebody? Look at them again, tell them you are blessed. Do you know it's easy for us to fight and to bless each other? Look at them in the eyes. Tell them, I bless you. I bless you. Again, tell them, I bless you. I bless you. And so Ezekiel came before God and God is telling him, Son of man, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Sometimes God can make you a watchman over your husband's life. It doesn't mean you control or dominate over him. A watchman over your wife's life. It doesn't mean you control or dominate over him. A watchman over your parents. A watchman over your children. You are not just a mother. It's one thing to be a mother. One thing to be a father. But to be a watchman. A watchman is another category of calling. And there are many people who have lost their watch, watchmanship anointing. They don't realize that as a missionary prophet... God uses your eyes to watch. That's why it says watch and pray. He didn't say watch and fight. So these days people watch and fight. They watch and they accuse. They watch and they attack. They watch and they get depressed. They watch and get down. But you are a watchman, a watchman, you must watch and pray. 
You have to watch London and see that London, UK is in the same category like in the days of Noah. And we cannot leave it and just gather as a people and just jump up and down with our high heels and our every nice thing and then go and come back the same way. No, no, no. We carry the ministry of reconciliation. See, man of God, things are not going well. Well, God doesn't look for perfect people to use. It is him that perfects you. You must not come to him perfect. It is him that makes you holy. You must not come to him holy. It is him that purifies you. You must not come to him purified. But when he has you, all that will be history. Give somebody 